Good morning, sweeties. Happy 1st of October 2022. This is vlog number 37. I think we're at 37. Anyway, uh, we have coffee, so I hope you've got your beverage of choice. Let's take a sip. Mm. Oh, yeah, so good. So good. Anyway, uh, we're, I'm trying new background. I know the background's not great, but I thought I'd try with the solid purple. I don't have a solid white. Um, instead of having the floral side, which is the other side. So it's, it's not great, but um, I thought we'd try with that to see how that goes. Now, the other thing before we get into it, I wanted to... Can you see my lips? I found this um, new I Love Revolution Elf. And it's got two colours. It's called North Pole. So it's Elf um, from like the movie. So it must have been like last year's Christmas. I picked it up for a couple of dollars at a chemist. And I've put um, both these on. So this end, which is like a very kind of matte, I don't know if you can see, but it's very sort of matte um, that when it went on. And this one's like a, got a little bit of sparkle. If you can see, a little sparkly goodness. I put that over the top, so... So yeah, so we're still busy trying um, skincares and all that kind of thing. But today I thought we would talk a bit about what I've been doing lately. I've just gotten into, it's been quite some time, but doing jigsaw puzzles. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Um, I, I had this thought of doing for Tom and my room is getting some jigsaw puzzles that would represent us and then framing them and hanging them up on the wall instead of buying posters or buying prints that can become quite expensive. So my thought was if I, you know, picked up a jigsaw puzzle, I could do it. Well, my first thought was that we could both do it, Tom and I. And, you know, so it gives us an activity to do together. And then frame them and put them up on the wall. So, you know, it's got something for both of us. Anyway, I started and I've just become addicted to doing jigsaw puzzles. So, poor Tom hasn't <laughs> seen uh had a chance to sit down and help me because i'm like yeah no i'll do it that's that's fine i'm i'm really loving this so <clears throat> anyway the first one i got was so this is the box and this one is up on the wall i framed it uh i picked up this frame from kmart that's got a purse perspex uh, front so I didn't want anything with glass in it because I thought if it fell or something like you know glass can shatter so I found these ones that actually have got this perspex on the front so it'll keep it you know dust off it and things like that but this was the very first one that I did so it's a 500 piece um and this was a lot of fun I was a little bit concerned when I first started because of the colors and being that my eyes aren't great and I thought oh this <laughs> this is gonna be tricky but I got it done it took me a few days well it took me more than a few days because I was working and um and all of that so I was just doing like little bits and pieces here and there but ultimately no it was it was quite good I got that one done so that is this one and that's a Hinkler so it's a Hinkler puzzle from Hinkler books uh yeah 
and that was printed so it's an Anne Stokes design from the Anne Stokes collection which is over here and it's a um, mind bogglers if you can read this here mind bogglers artesian so that's um that was a lot of fun it finished up being the size of the puzzle where is it was 61 centimeters by about 46 centimeters so 24 inch by 18 inch mystic aura by Anne Stokes is what it's called so that's that one <clears throat> Then I finished that one and I found on Amazon, I was looking for another puzzle that I thought would be really cool that would represent, again, something for Tom and I. And I found this Ravensburg, Ravensburger puzzle alphabet with all the dragons. Isn't this gorgeous? So this is a thousand piece. So I was a little nervous. The piece sizes were smaller than this one. Uh, the size of this works out to be 70 centimeters by 50 centimeters. Uh, so in inches, that's approximately 27 inch by 20 inch. And that's side of the box so i finished that one yesterday i framed it last night and put it up on the wall big thank you to my dad for actually putting uh, a wire on the back because it had these little weird hooks and you were supposed to hang it from that and i didn't i didn't want that so thank you dad thanks for that <clears throat> so yes absolutely love this i will try and get um put in a picture of the framed of both of these framed they're up on the wall i've uh did post a tiktok last night of of both of them um and i, I love them i think they look really really good so i'm happy with them <clears throat> but that now means slightly addicted to jigsaw puzzles so when I was at Kmart picking up the frames the other day, uh, I bought two frames, both the size I got fit both of these. So that was perfect. As I said, they've both got this Perspex um, front, so they don't have glass in. I didn't want glass, which, and, and they weren't that expensive. So they were about 70 by 50. So the Ravensburger one, just fits in i can't think of what's this called it's just got a name dragon dragon alphabet alphabet dragon alphabet is the name of this puzzle too and i will say the quality of between the two puzzles is ravensburger is definitely like fantastic um nice and thick <clears throat> they they <clears throat> excuse me they butt together really well and hold whereas with this one they're a bit looser and i couldn't couldn't pick it up in one i think that's the thing in the puzzle world is if you can pick up your jigsaw puzzle and hold it together just you know that's supposed to be a thing from what I've seen on TikTok. Um, Ravensburger is one that I could kind of pick up and do that. So they were tied and f like held together firmly and really nice. So, um, so absolutely love this brand so far. May need more of them. Just saying. Anyway, um, but when I was at Kmart, I had a look to see in their puzzle selection to see what else they had. And Tom and I both, we like tigers and cats and things like that. So look at the, sorry about the um, reflection, but look at this tiger. So this is a 500 piece. It's from an animal series and this is called Curious Tiger. 
it's supposed to work out to be 61 by say 46 centimeters wide but that's the other ones that are in there's two puppy dogs but because it doesn't have like a puppy dog like my puppy dog kobe um i decided i'd get this this tiger one because tom and i do we love cats obviously i'm a lion i'm a leo i love that tom uh was born in the year of the tiger so he has a bit of an affinity with tigers but look at the gorgeous colors so this is the one i'm gonna start next because i am slightly addicted to doing the jigsaw puzzles so that's that's that one but i also found i got these so this was like i think this was like five dollars fifty like for five dollars fifty a 500 piece puzzle i look and it's for eight plus so i can do that Um, but not only that, I found, I got these two 500 piece puzzles, Mindfulness and Australia, for a dollar each. Look how cute this is. And then this one is called Australia. And this is supposed to be, I think this is supposed to be Great Barrier Reef, which is a big Queensland thing and this one's just called mindfulness I don't know if it's got a uh, doesn't I don't think it really has a name but I like the colors um, it looks like a it's probably more like a sunset I'm not sure I'd call that it could be a sunrise or a sunset um, they're for a dollar each, I thought, I don't know if there'd be ones I would frame. This one, I would definitely do a frame for. Because, again, the it's something that ties, like, Tom and I together. And I could see that up on, the, up on, a, on a wall. Um, plus, it's a vertical, whereas the other two are... Horiz like horizontal set so this is a vertical um so i'd have to i'm gonna put it together and see if i've got room on one of the walls maybe to put it because i think it would be really cute but yeah i am really loving doing the jigsaw puzzles and as much as all the other things that I love to do, you know, I love to bake, you know, I love to decorate, uh, I play well, I do the podcast, I do a lot of prep stuff for that. Um, like this so much, I love doing my makeup, my skincare, you know, so there's lots of things, but just doing the jigsaw puzzles, it is quite relaxing at the same stage. The Ravensburger one, so the dragon one it would i got to a point that i thought i've bitten off more than i can chew <laughs> i really got to the point that i thought oh this is not i'm not gonna be able to do it the pieces are smaller yes but they're very there's also parts that are very detailed and so with my eyes i was thinking Ah oh, shit, I'm I'm not going to be able to do this. But I persevered and I got it done. So I'm really proud of myself for doing that. So um so yeah, the the first one I did, I'm glad that this was kind of the first one. It was challenging again because the colors um, that blended in but I felt that it wasn't quite as intricate so um, so yeah but really love that and it looks great up on the wall so as I said I'll try and get a photo and put them in of them both framed because I think they look really really well and 
they haven't cost me all that much. Um, the first one, I got this one on special. Um, I was able to buy like two puzzles for really cheap. So it worked out under $10 for that. Uh, so I was quite happy. The dragon alphabet one was a bit more expensive, but it is a much higher quality plus it's in a thousand piece. So I did pay a little bit more for that, but it's worth it because I absolutely love it. <laughs> absolutely love it. Tom and I love dragons. We play World of Warcraft, obviously, which is a fantasy game. We love our fantasy stuff. We play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, we we have a lot of dragon stuff within the fantasy world that we play, as well as things that we do. And um, yeah, so and the colors and everything in it just is absolutely gorgeous. So really loved to do it. I'm glad that was not my first puzzle because I probably <laughs> would have stopped after that. But anyway, uh, I'm going to be doing this one next. I've been putting uh, some footage and stuff over on TikTok uh, of doing the puzzles and and doing updates so if you're looking for other things pop over and see um my tiktok whereas you know if it's not coffee uh, or baking or makeup you know i i'm trying to get better at posting regularly over there i've got to get better at posting here too <laughs> but anyway that's that's a whole nother thing. Uh, the other thing I want to say a huge thank you to my sister. I had found one of her puzzle mats. Um, it's this like green felt thing that you roll up. Any, my sister has been a huge into puzzles for a very long time. She's very, very good at doing them. And I have bought her over the years many what I deemed as being extremely, like, really difficult puzzles because she can just do them, like, and she would always just do them within the space of a couple hours, whereas, you know, for me, it <laughs> takes me days. But anyway, so I found this and I started using this to put, um, put the puzzle on so I could kind of move it around because I've been using this desk here and you know one of the things one of the tips that she gave to me was don't use this because rolling up your puzzles can actually bend the puzzle pieces and put them out of shape and I thought oh okay um, well that's interesting because there's so many when I look on Amazon when I look of catch of the day when I look on um, do any search for like puzzle mats puzzle boards the majority of them are ones that you roll up so i would have thought that that was safe but not so much anyway she's not doing puzzles at the moment so she has lent me her puzzle like puzzle board mat thing which is oh, which is like this so you can transport it around, it's Velcro, it, oh, anyway, it opens up, it has a little, um, like, board part in that you can take out and, you know, so I, what I was doing was sorting some colours onto that and then I can move that part around instead of having everything just a mess so i found um i found a youtuber as well karen puzzles who is amazing she is amazing at doing puzzles absolutely love her i'm like consuming her content like <laughs> i'm breathing air um she is absolutely wonderful at and solving puzzles she's so knowledgeable and i've been picking up tips tips from her channel and what she does and how she does it with you know 
pulling out the border pieces, putting that separate and, you know, putting things in colours and, and all sorts of things like that. So, um, so yeah, I've been having a lot of, lot of fun with it, uh, for sure. So that's my update. I don't want to make this too long. Um, that way, you know, <laughs> it is that. Uh, are we liking my bay band headband today? Look what it is. Can you see? It's coffee beans. I had to. I had to. When she said she was getting in a coffee bean, like a coffee fabric I was like yep I need it I need it so um yeah so that's that's my thing anyway <clears throat> my voice is starting to go so it must mean it's time to wrap this vlog up we shall have coffee but my day today I'm gonna start this puzzle I'll probably do some posts over on TikTok so again if you want to check that out I think I'm later wow over on TikTok uh, but yeah, you can check those things out. But, um, anyway, for a Saturday, uh, it's, we're going to have a very chill one. So please let me know in the comments below if you're into doing jigsaw puzzles, what stuff do you do? Like, do you do any jigsaw puzzles? Does it not matter? Do you have a favorite types? brands like let me know because this is a new thing i'm exploring and i'm having a lot of fun uh with it and i want to know more about jigsaws and puzzles and what people do and all of that so please leave a comment letting me know of all that like and subscribe uh, thank you if you're sticking around. I appreciate that. Again, leave some comments as to what you've been doing. Any comments about your favorite lipsticks, skincare, baking, what games you like to play, what jigsaws. Like I'm always, I'm always interested to know what other people are doing and how they're enjoying their time. So again, thank you for sticking around if you are and if you've got to go then I appreciate that you hung out for as long as you did so thank you very much all right guys have a wonderful day please take care of yourself wherever you are in this big old world and we will catch you on the next one bye